guys today i'm just going to be doing a very simple look it's going to be my everyday look that i normally do and it's very very simple and easy it's just follow along all right guys so here i'm going to go ahead and go in with my rimmel um primer and i'm just going to go ahead and rub that in make sure you get all your pores covered up before you put any foundation or anything on there next is going to be my physician formula concealer <clears throat> I actually really like this product. Um, it's a newer one that came out, and I really, really like it because it does give you a little bit more of that full coverage, and it's it's a nice color. So I'm going in with my tarp brush right here, and I'm using the not the thick side but the skinnier one and I'm just gonna hit those areas where I put this concealer on basically I just put the concealer on on any redness that I had any pimples that I had and then now I'm going in with my Lumi L'Oreal in shade C3 um, foundation So I make sure that I'm actually putting some of that foundation in my eyes for the reason that I want to make sure everything is nice and balanced as well. You're going to see me pulling it down into my neck area just to make sure everything blends and it doesn't just have like a harsh um, tan line compared to my skin. So you can see me I'm bringing it down right now, blending that neck area. And it's very important that you get those corners of the nose and you can see me, um, I keep going on back and forth into my nose because I... Okay, so now that I've done my foundation, I'm trying to get it, my pack. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and be using my L'Oreal powder. This is in shade uh, W4. And the reason that I go in with this um, is because I don't really like the foundation, the way that it makes me look. It makes me look very oily and I like more of a matte finish. So I just kind of put this on there and um, it does make my makeup stay actually a little bit longer too because it's kind of like a, I feel like in a way I use it as a setting powder even though it's not a setting powder. Okay, um, this is my Sephora Moon Shadow Pal Baked Palette. My finger actually. And I'm going to grab the first color right here that we have and I'm gonna put that into my inner corner go in with a soft the next one right here this soft brown and it's gonna go into the middle part of the eye so I'm just gonna go in and I'm tapping it because it is glittery and I'm moving it out grab some more of the other eye Now I'm going to go in with the purple, which is the only purple in this eyeshadow palette, which is right here. So I'll use that. And that's going to go in the outer corner of that eye. Outer to midway, pretty much, I like to say. I'm using more just to kind of keep the glow in my eyes. I'm going to bring it up a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit. I tried. I really tried. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go in with my next. So 
<laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going in with Milani Illuminoso um, blush. And this is my favorite blush because it complements my skin very nicely. I always get compliments on it. And it's literally like 6 or 8 bucks at the store maybe. You can get it at Target, Walmart, wherever. So I like to smile and then apply it at my cheeks. And then I pat it in to kind of really get the pigment. And then I'll start going into circular motions. But I really just pat that in to get that um, very cheeky, rosy, summery look. I go back and forth to make sure both of them kind of get even. But I like mine pigmented. Like, I really like my cheeks to pop. So you can always do less. Cool. So now we're going to go into the eyes. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal um, mascara. This is my favorite one. It's black as black. And so right now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Alright guys, so now I'm going in with my mascara, and I'm just going to show you guys, this is why I love this mascara, it's one of my favorite ones. So I apply one coat on there, and I just kind of make it, make sure I get all my eyelashes, but it's just so beautiful the way that it already gives me the volume and the darkness that I want into my eyelashes, that I don't even have to wear falsies, I'm just happy with them. You can already see the difference between one eye and the other one. And I don't have long eyelashes. My eyelashes actually don't really curl. They go straight back um, to being straight once I curl them. But this just gives me the volume. Same thing at the bottom. I'm just going to kind of apply a little bit of mascara down there and kind of make my eye a little bit more open. I feel like whenever you wear mascara, it just opens up your eye a little bit more. Look at that. You see the difference? I'm going to show you the difference in the lighting. Look at the way my eye just looks already. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and did my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. My eyeliner, I literally go from my inner corner and then halfway I stop and then I kind of feather that out. Just to kind of give it a smoky little corner eye. I go in. And I really darken that area up. And then I'll... Just like that. Just smoke it out. So I'm just gonna go get my lip. Alright guys, so here I'm going with Jeffree Stars, and I'm so sorry I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. And this is my lipstick and shape Androgani, I think it's pronounced. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this and hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys.